Thanks for tuning in for this demonstration of my new ribbon controller for Eurorack. This tool for playing an analog synthesizer has been around f since the beginning of electronics, really. But I've added my twist on it with two additional pressure points here uh, opposite the main ribbon. These are patched internally as a pitch bend up and down. The module also accepts input CV, and these points will bend it as a voltage adder or subtractor. I designed this to bring back in the pitch of the main ribbon after pitch quantization uh, in any quantizer you have in your system. Finally, both up and down pressure points output separately scalable positive CVs. I call it the axe and the razor. You make the broad swings with the axe controller here, and you can shave off tenths of a volt here and there with the 6HP razor breakout module. They're connected by a common Ethernet cable carrying analog signals. So I've made a simple subtractive synthesis patch here to show off some of the features of the axe and the razor. Uh, the axe has three adjustable knobs on it for the main ribbon position, pressure, and the pitch bend, which I'll get to. Um, both the position ribbon and the pressure ribbon underneath output 0 to 8 voltages scalable on the axe. So the pressure goes up to 8. Turn it down a little bit, you get quite as much. And then the position scales from 0 volts to 8 volts, which is effectively 0 to 8 octaves. Here it is all the way up. And then halfway. Just an octave. So the pressure CV activates a gate and trigger at the voltage level of your choice with a comparator, which uh, indicated by that red LED. And so this is with the pressure turned all the way up. If you turn up the threshold, you press a little bit harder and then it comes up. And then very hard indeed. Uh, and so <clears throat> Good for playing a variety of note attacks and decays. This is with a regular envelope. I like to send both an envelope triggered by the comparator and the CV out to a filter for expressive control. Position section is pretty straightforward. I've included a sample and hold to prevent the pitch CV from falling after removing touch contact. Now, if you turn it off, this happens. But you might want to leave it off when using some quantizers that have their own sample and hold to prevent a delay in your pitch changing. Pitch bend is the unique feature of the axe and the razor. It receives position CV when in is not patched, so you can hold a note and bend it with no additional patching. Uh, it will also bend whatever CV you send to it. So I designed this to add expression to a quantized melodic line originating from the module and getting routed back to it. Here's currently my favorite quantizer, the Casutronics quantizer, and you patch it, sending the position out to quantizer in, quantizer out to pitch bend in, and then pitch bend out, you add yourself some good sounding notes.
You can then bend it with the pitch bend pressure points. Pitch bend is also scalable with a logarithmic potentiometer here. So you can go from bending just uh, a little bit of a half step or less. Do a little bit higher. All the way through three octaves. I've designed the controller uh, as something to hold in your hands and play like a guitar and so I like to position my thumb here to roll it in between the two pressure points. Like that. Finally, both the up pressure point and the down pressure point can uh, output individually scalable positive CVs from the up and down jacks here, which you can use to control all sorts of effects. So if you want the pitch bend to uh, uh, be <coughs> separate from that, all you can do is just scale it down to zero and then plug this into something like the timbre of my plats here and down to the harmonic and get all fun controllable sounds. Turn up the depth of that effect. Turn down timbre and harmonic. Combining pressure point control over certain parameters with pressure point control over effects leads to some very interesting sounds. Turn up the wet. The wet. One of the patches I've been working on for a long time with this kind of performance is uh, kind of generative arpeggios using Euclidean sequencers and then using uh, sources of CV, like the ones that come from the pressure points in the Axe and the Razor, to control both the rhythm and the harmonic content of the arpeggio. So we can get this moving. So right now it's just running 16th notes, but uh, the CV 
uh, is running with the ribbon controller and some extra CV from the first channel of maths uh, on top of it, rising and falling, getting sent through the quantizer and then back in for pitch bending. Ooh, and a little bit of something else there. What was that? Timbre. Pretty cool. Um, so I'm going to add one more thing. I'm going to take the pressure of the main ribbon and add that to CV1 so that uh, of Pam's new workout so that we can add control over the number of triggers. So right, it turns off and when you press a, a little bit more you get more triggers from uh, the sequence. I'm pressing slightly harder and then you get all of it. You can scale this down with pressure. You can choose the maximum amount. you can scale it within PAMS itself.